Happy Monday, guys. I am out for my morning walk. It's about 7 a.m. And I'm just gonna start off a week in my life. So this week I'm getting my hair done. Um, I'm getting a facial, doing my workout classes, and some other stuff's going on as well. So I'm excited to bring you guys along. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe below and give this video a big thumbs up. And let's get into it. So I'm on my way to my first workout class. I thought I signed up for a Pilates class, but I actually signed up for a cardio bar class. Um, but that sounds like a really good workout also, which is what I'm here to do. So I'm really excited about it. Um, never been to this studio before, never even heard of it, but I found it online. And this was the only studio that had last minute availability this week with classes that did not require having like a prerequisite class. And I hope I like it. That class is not to be taken lightly. I was literally dripping sweat. I, I thought I was gonna like pass out. It was only 45 minutes. Oh my gosh, can I get these on? I'm really starting to feel like it was a bit ambitious trying to uh, sign up for five of these classes. Well, I did sign up for five. I signed up for five classes this week. I'm so tired. Holy crap. Wrapping up the evening with something a little healthier. So I'm doing Brussels sprouts and broccoli and watching some Bewitched. Hey, hey, kicking off day two with the morning walk. Uh, surprisingly, I'm not too sore from the Pilates class yesterday. I purposely stretched a ton before and after the class and drank a bunch of water to try to prevent being sore. And it looks like it paid off, yay. So I placed an order with Ulta last week and it finally came in. So I got a new straightener. Um, right now I have a cheese straightener and like the plate, something's wrong with it. And my hair keeps getting stuck in it and it keeps pulling it out. And then it's like only one temperature. It's at like 400 and something. So it keeps burning my hair. So I got a new one. I love this brand. It's the brand that my curlers are and it's te uh, temperature adjustable. And then um, I got Kylie Cosmetics highlighter or Kylite and bronzer and then my shampoo and conditioner were on sale so I picked up more of those but let's see what the highlighter and bronzer look like okay so the highlighter has this really nice little shimmer to it that's cute and the bronzer all no not also the bronzer is matte what that's interesting okay I don't really know how I feel about that but the highlighter looks really cute. Off to class number two. Got my backpack with my water bottle. I got my bag, workout shoes, ready to rock and roll. Woo, so I just wrapped up day two. So yesterday I thought it was a Pilates class, but it was actually a cardio bar class. Um, today was a dynamic Pilates class, which I'm not sure, like there were a few different types of Pilates classes, but I don't know what exactly made this one different. Sorry, I'm a lot of breath. Um, we did use these, she called it a reformer machine and basically it like slides. And I think it's what a Pilates machine is. But anywho, um, yesterday was a lot easier for me because there was a lot more emphasis on legs, which is pretty much like the only muscle strength I have maintained since stopping uh, my workout game. Um, core is definitely where I have like uh, very, very little strength, if any. And today there was a lot more emphasis on that. So. Um, I found it really difficult to do a lot of the moves today, but I gave it my best, so I feel good. I'm excited to see how much more like core strength I get through this. Um, today also went a lot smoother because I brought my own mat this time. And then everybody had these like, these sock things. So they're these grip socks. They grip at the bottom. And then I got these ones, they look like little ballerina shoes. But um, you're not allowed to wear socks because you slide and then you're not allowed to wear shoes on the equipment. So you either have to go barefoot or you have to get these sock thingies. So um, I just bought these inside, they were like 20 bucks. So I was like, all right, bought my first pair. And then I think I'm gonna buy them on Amazon, maybe a couple more pairs. <sighs> um, but I feel like they're probably a lot cheaper on Amazon. So at least I have a starter pair and then I'm gonna wear some. All right, well, I am heading home now. Yeah. Oh, Got some coffee. Feeling a little sore today, but excited to be kicking things off. My Pilates grip socks have arrived. So they have like little ballerina X's that go over the top of your foot. And then the grip is actually metallic, which I didn't realize. So this is metallic like gray on these three. 
and then this one's like metallic gold. Look how cute, they're all the same brand. This, uh, Zaik, Zaik, that, I feel like I'm saying like a weird accent. Um, but yeah, they're all the same, just um, different colors. But I'm really excited. Day three, let's go. So I just made myself some dinner. I did some grilled chicken breast with some broccoli over white rice. And I'm gonna be using some of this teriyaki glaze and then maybe some low sodium soy sauce. And our new show is Escaping Polygamy. And it's actually really interesting. If you guys haven't seen it, highly recommend. Day. I'm not trying to be a total creeper, so I'm gonna make this quick, but they're taking down this part of the fence and they're going to be doing it section by section. We have no fence. Oh my gosh. While the house gets fixed, here we are at Petco to get a haircut. Oh my goodness gracious, they're pulling. Are you guys excited? Puppies finally got their summer haircuts. Look how cute. While well, I'm at this red light, I'm gonna show you guys what I bought for them as a good job. We got this little beaver, a little monkey. I think this is the snake, a rope ball, and a little duck. Yeah, duck. They love the small toys because they can carry them around without the other pulling them from their mouth. Um, so yeah, they prefer these over the big ones, so. So here's what was finished yesterday. And then this section is going to be done today. So you can see right in our backyard. And I'm out here once again, it is 6.30 and getting my walk-in. <laughs> I have some crispy shrimp curry and we're watching some true crime. Good morning. So today is day 10 of walking every day and day nine of classes. So I have not skipped a single walking day. Um, the studio is closed on Sundays. So I did not actually miss a day that I could have gone to class. I'm so, so tired today. I just really wasn't feeling it. I started my walk like 15 minutes late. Um, and then I went to go make coffee. I'm out of my to-go coffee cup, so I had to bring a glass cup with me, and it just kind of felt like everything was kind of against me. My AirPods are on low battery, and I was like, maybe I should just skip today. And then, as I was getting dressed, I like caught a glimpse of myself in the mirror, and I noticed that there are significant changes with my body, and I realized how far I have come so far and that was kind of the boost I needed to be like, okay, consistency is everything and I need to go do this today. So, <sighs> not quite feeling it today, but I'm, I'm out here and I'm doing it. So today is day three of the fence project. Right now, you can see clear to the neighbor's yard and same with over here. So they haven't put back up this side of the fence yet. Here are the pups strutting their new little haircuts from yesterday. Or two days ago? Yesterday? I don't even remember anymore. Hi guys! Hi! Hi! Hey guys, good morning. I just got back from my morning walk and I'm going to my workout class later tonight. I just want to let you guys know that I know I stopped doing clips of like during the walks and on my way to class and such. Um, just because it was just getting super uh, repetitive. So I have not skipped any walking days. I haven't skipped any of the classes and I'm actually really loving it and getting into a routine with it. So that's the update on the classes. Still sticking with it, just not trying to bore you guys. So our fence is all done. Look how much better this looks. All the way down. And then back here by the garden box. So this is the exciting thing over here. So I don't know if you guys remember, but this fence 
The iron fence, like the frame of it was done over a year ago, but our fence actually ended several feet back this way. So this is our side yard. So this is where our trash cans used to go and they didn't really fit. So it kind of went off like into these rocks and such. And this is where our fence ended. Just like right here, this is where there was a gate. So we asked the fencing people to leave a little bit of this fence and now we can put our trash cans here and that's where our yard begins now. So now we just have this nice little like enclosed area where you can't really see the trash cans too much. So we really, really love this. What are you doing here, homeboy? Hi. What, what, what are you doing here? So I just found this little duckling in the middle of a park near no water so now i have him and we're going to be taking him to a little pond i don't know what he's doing out here i don't know how he got here poor thing but i know he's a duck because his little webbed feet so he does not belong here we're going to take good care of you and get you where you need to go okay promise He's just the smallest, cutest little thing. He really does enjoy being held. You're so cute. So although it's our first time rescuing a little baby duck, um, we actually raised a rescue baby squirrel for a couple months, a couple years ago. So it's not our first time uh, with <laughs> baby wildlife, but it's definitely our first time with a little duck. He's getting pretty confident. He really wants to sit on my shoulder. He really enjoys that, but I'm just scared he's gonna fall. So you gotta stay down here, little one. He's just trying to crawl everywhere. Pretty excited because when I looked at the animal, the wildlife rescues website, they had pictures of ducklings that look just like him. So I'm confident that they will take him and know how to care for him because they've had, um, they've had ducks and they don't ducks look just like you. Yeah. We're getting the little one some exposure to outside. What do you think? Okay, so we filled up the sink for him. Okay. Put him in. Let's see how he likes it. Let's make sure he doesn't drown. We don't know if he knows how to swim. What, if he knows how to swim yet. Birds float. Wow. Look at you. He likes the little. <laughs> he likes the Look at his little beak. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look how stinking cute you are. You fed him some wig lukewarm water in the sink and. He's just really having a ball. So I'm now on my way to get a hydrofacial, um, same one and same place um, that I went to last time. Um, so we still have not taken little Petrie or the duckling to the animal rescue because it's like 20 something minutes away and it was in the opposite direction of this. So we're trying to call and get confirmation that, they, that they're open and that they can um, take the duck. So I just finished my facial appointment and now I'm on my way home. Um, as soon as I got in there and I was in the lobby like filling out um, a little form, I got a call from the wildlife rescue and they said, yes, they will take him. So um, I let them know we'd be bringing him in about an hour and a half when I finish an appointment. So now I'm heading home and we're gonna have to say our goodbyes. <laughs> Look at you. Look, that's way better. You ready to take him? Yeah. Where am I going? We're supposed to bring him in a little box. So we have him in here. I want to hold him, but I'm scared that he's gonna try to jump and then he's gonna be fall somewhere in the car and it's gonna be a whole mess. So I'm just trying to comfort the little one in the box. Here we are, apparently this rundown place is the wildlife. A rescue so we have made it to our destination little one 
Oh, I'm sad to see you go, but you can't stay with us. You deserve a real life. He's filling out the paperwork, but they just took him back there. <laughs> He's gone. So we just dropped him off. There's the place. And I guess he is a mallard duck, or ma mallard duckling. And um, the lady said all the like volunteers in the back fell in love with him immediately. And <sighs> I miss him already. I'm glad he's here because we're gonna rehabilitate him, raise him, make sure he's good. They get ducks pretty often, so hopefully all will be good. But um, I know we did the right thing, but I'm I miss him. Happy Sunday guys. We are getting ready to go on a bit of a date day. We're gonna be bringing the pups with us. We're gonna to go to a few places on the river and get some drinks. So I'm gonna show you guys what I'm wearing. So this top is from Express. It has little balloon arms and it's kind of like a little peplum with like a cross top. Um, this is part of an order that I got that I did um, for the clothing haul. However, it showed up too late so it wasn't in it. Um, I got this in a size medium because they were out of a small and um, well I definitely needed a small but that's okay and I'll show you guys the rest of the outfit. These light wash jeans are from Banana Republic and then these shoes, you guys saw a clip of me buying them. Um, I bought these from Ferragamo in Mexico and then I'm making a debut for my purse. So I named my purse Aria Marie. I got her from the Prada in Las Vegas when I went, um, I think in May, May, maybe, maybe April. Um, and this is the first time I've ever used her. And because she is so thick, she fits my vlog camera. So I think she might become a new favorite. And yeah, we're ready to go. So we're actually not gonna bring the kids because they're not allowed in some of the places we're going. And look at little Hunter. Yeah, he has a cone because he got a bit of an infection. And so this way he doesn't lick it but oh, they look so sad. Hi, Sadie girl. Hi, baby. Are you a good girl? Are you mama's good girl? Yeah, you are. Walking down the dock to, what is this, crawdads. <laughs> So at Chevy's, we ended up going inside and sitting at the bar and getting a drink. However, the drink took almost 10 minutes to get to us. And by the time that we realized to go to the bar and then by the time that the drink was ready, our table was ready at Crawdads, which they're like next door to each other. But we had to chug the drink. Darren chugs faster, so he chugged and ran down here so they didn't give away the table. And I just chugged it. I haven't eaten yet today, it's one o'clock. Um, I told Aaron I need a snack ASAP or things about to get wild out here. <laughs> We just got our drinks. I got a frozen white linen and I got two of them because they are super busy. So I thought it'd be a while and difficult to get a second one. Darren got a margarita and what's the other one? This one is the uh, sea otter. The the otter. Oh yeah, the river otter. River otter. Which has raw gin, gin, gin. and lime. And lime and then something and, else. Uh, we'll try it, is it good? Something else. Give I it a go. And cucumber. Give it a go. How is it? Yeah, it's just gin lime and uh, cucumber. And I think maybe Sprite or something. Okay, let's see here. Yeah, actually it's really good. I would I would get this again. Well, good. Because yeah, I did get it again. I did get it again. Get it again. I got some fish and chips and he got guacamole and uh, uh, some ice chips. Thank you. And I got some ranch. All right, we got a shot of uh, what? What is that? Casamigos tequila. Tequila. We've got a shot of tequila in the house. 
What, what? I got my drink number three, same thing. Plain Jane out here, when I find something I like, I just get the same thing every time. Just got home and our ruggable rug is here. The Instagram ads got me. Hey guys, happy Monday. I am hopping on to end the vlog here. I'm happy to report that other than the day that I was saving the duck, I have not missed any of my walks or workout classes. So I've stayed incredibly consistent and I'm really, really proud of myself. If you haven't already, don't forget, subscribe below, give this video a big thumbs up. And don't forget to check out my videos next week and the following weeks because very exciting stuff is coming. Thank you guys again so, so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Talk to me, baby.